Standby. Countdown sequence. Well, welcome, 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 welcome. Signal and Atana. The name of the song is Love, Love, Love. All right. Speaking of love, uh, one of the things that uh, we've been loving here lately is Opala. Okay, we've been hating it, but we've been love cleaning it up and loving some of the response that we've been getting. And uh, in the studio is a guy. You've seen him before. I can't remember where, though. This It's a Paradise? Is that where it is on the west side? I mean... Oh, okay. Yeah. Get close to the mic. Uh, get close to the mic, Salvo. <laughs> this sounds That's weird, Ryan doesn't it? On Wednesdays, because he's uh, on mainland doing his thing. So I've been pumping out and getting those boom shots. Oh, okay. Hang on a sec. we got to aim this thing. There, there we go. Well, now try it. I'll be back there first Wednesday in August to help him out before he comes back to the mainland. Oh, okay. Yeah. Reggae roots, rock steady. Just everything. Okay. okay. Well, uh, question is, because... Yesterday, me and you actually, we've been meeting behind the scenes for this. Uh, we talked about like telling people some of the stuff that we had found on the first one. Now, we've mentioned the truck, the refrigerator. We, we didn't mention the bag of fish parts that you Whoa. found. That was that was that was fun, wasn't it? My favorite was the vacuum cleaner with the backbone and the pelvic from the inside. Of oh the yeah, the 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 CSI murder scene. That was mm. so nasty. <laughs> Oh, definitely lean up, though. I, I barely hear that. you, man. It's okay. It's okay. I know it's like morning for you. DJs, are, yeah. we're a different breed. <laughs> yeah. It's like if this interview would have been in 3 a.m., <laughs> been live, you know? True, true. <laughs> true. But, uh, oh, Paula Hala, I mean, you've kind of, you're the one that started the Facebook page. That's the first thing we should say. So thank you for that. And uh, we've also seen, like, a couple of other people getting interested in this. Have you had people ask you about the first one because ever since we put the pictures up i get guys coming by me and going really is that 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 was real yeah they they ask where it is because they don't exactly know where puella road is and i just you know explain it's right there in the, on the way to the dump and i guess the dump was closed and somebody had to make their deposit so they did what they had to do i guess yeah it is is if you really have to do it though you can just leave it on the truck yeah trash does not make metal melt just go the next day yeah <laughs> or if you're really lazy just dump your whole truck on the side of the <laughs> yeah, road. Well, we found that too <laughs> oh man that well, was fun i tell you what i want to take a quick break and come back and talk about um well some of the stuff that you're doing on the facebook uh, some of the stuff that we're getting ready for oh2 you know apollo hollow two thousand peaks <laughs> yeah that one's gonna be fun yeah. and then we want to also talk about some of the other areas that you've seen around the island that you're like oh god what really people <laughs> All right. We'll be back in just a sec. I also have, um, you probably like these guys, Roots Underground. You, yeah. you, oh, okay. Do some Roots Underground up next. Q103. Mike Pinto. The song is called Truth Serum. Okay. If you could uh, hold somebody's, you know, in a little room, a little lamp over their head, give them some Truth Serum, and say, Is it you that threw all that crap out of your car? Who would it be? Because. The last time that we did the the uh, Palehu Road one, we had um, we had medicine bottles with people's names on them. True, that's true. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I don't know. It's just like you said before. It's just a faceless person that we have to approach. It's not any one person, but it's a collective. It's idea. a collective problem, and that idea is is that it's okay to throw stuff out your window. It's okay to just leave stuff wherever yeah and some people gauge it on based on how small it is so oh it's just a cigarette butt so oh it's just, just a it paper yeah but after a while i mean we saw this in a big way it adds up yeah like, a lot of adding up and somehow it was like it looked like they buried it too that was a little weird with the rocks and stuff yeah okay don't bury your opala <laughs> it's not a funeral yeah if you're gonna if you're gonna do it at least leave it out so the city or the county can pick it up because when you bury it, th those are pollutions, and they go into the ground and the groundwater. Absolutely. Pretty all, bad this stuff. This is all our Ina. Uh. Well, Thousand Peaks, real quick, before we get into some of the areas that you've seen. Thousand Peaks, have you ever been there? Yes. You have. So you know what I'm talking about when I said it used to be a beautiful beach. Yeah, it's just different. A lot of more people have gone there and not, not cared for it like they should care for it. It is. It's, it's like a dumping ground. That one side of it, though, that's the that's the thing that gets me. As you pull down, it's like, oh, there's some sand. It's a beautiful. And then as soon as you round the corner, it's like, 
It's a trash dump. Yeah. And you'd expect the people that go there to be like, have um, an idea about keeping things beautiful because most of them are surfers, I would expect, because it's a great surf spot. It is. It's a great dive spot. I like going out there and just snorkeling. Absolutely. But you cannot, like, once you walk up on the beach, you got to look down and look for glass cans and yeah. things like that. And it's just, it's horrible. That's yeah, a booty situation for me. Oh, man. You know what I figured out that we should do? This is kind of a funny thing. The next time that we find garbage with somebody's name on it <laughs> oh, no. and their address, <laughs> we should re-deliver their garbage to them. <laughs> Give them one of these, hey, you dropped this kind of <laughs> packages on their doorstep. I think that's a good idea. <laughs> Would you be willing to do that? Well, can we send it anonymously? <laughs> <laughs> can we ask the United States Postal Service workers if that's something they would deliver? Yeah, right. yeah. Depends if it smells, I guess. Yeah, that would be really good, though. We should take a picture of all their trash out on the beach, yeah. load it up into a bag, deliver it back to them. <laughs> that would get some results for sure. Yeah, well, I mean, really. <laughs> and, and you saw this with like me, you, and Justin on the first one. It, it, it is. It's a couple of guys that are just, quite honestly, pissed off that has to do something about it. And the reason that we're so angry is we noticed. So maybe if we make other people notice it, they'll be angry. They'll notice it, and they'll either stop doing it or they'll clean up after themselves. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm just interested. I mean, I'm halfway angry. The other side of me is just, this is just something that I do for myself as well because it makes me feel good. Yeah. Help the help. I, I don't like to see it, so I, I'll pick it up. That's just sad, though, you know? I mean, as you would think, as guys, we would do better than this. Yeah, in such a small island. I feel like Uncle Shaggy now. Like, I'm scolding people <laughs> like, oh, boy. Oh, bada. Oh, come, come. You know Uncle love you, huh? You know? Like, <laughs> I just want to feel like. But sometimes you do. You have to do that. You have to walk up to people and like, really? Are, are you that inconsiderate? Yeah. Did your parents not teach you better? <laughs> Karma's a bee, you know? Oh, well. I, I, I want to talk about not karma being a bee. But Opala being a B, and where are some of the places that you found it? Okay, um, definitely. Oh, we'll do that in the next. Oh. Yeah, I'm, yeah. We'll come back. In just a sec. It's Salvo and uh, the Opala Holla number two kicks off this Sunday, 9:30 a.m. We're gonna meet at the Aquatic Center. More details on the way. Plus some Collie Buds. Riddle Muddy Islands. Give it a three. Eddie Murphy and Snoop Lion, Red Light, Kill It 03, uh, the rhythm of the islands. Uh, <laughs> I like that song. I know. We were talking about that the other day. It's it's funny that Eddie Murphy, of all people, out Rasta's Snoop Lion. Oh, absolutely. I mean, <laughs> I would watch an Eddie Murphy reggae show after that song. Yeah, I mean, it, it and hope like that he's... Snoop Lion doesn't show up. Looks like he's been doing his homework. At least he's got, he's got a good style. It's got a good like a rock steady feel to it a little bit. Yeah. Uh, all right. So Salvo, you you're a surfer, right? Yeah. You do you also do paddling? Do you do diving? Yeah. Anything Stand like up, that? Paddle, dive. Okay. So you spend a lot of time around beaches. I do. And, and we've had this conversation before. What are some of the ugliest beaches that you've been to as far as the Opala? Well, it's um, it's not necessarily the beach as much, but the 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 tree and like camping and picnic area around Kanaha Beach, Kite Beach is pretty darn under the trees. Ooh, yeah. Got a lot of bugs that come as a result of all that trash. And then, then a lot of people, you know, their dogs poop there and they don't pick it up. That's part of Ohala right there. I d that's one thing. Okay, now I'm, don't get me wrong, banana peels, things like that. I'm okay for putting those down in the ground. Throw some dirt on them because those biodegrade and they're actually good for soil. Yeah. Okay? Dog poop, not good for feet. Yeah, you should you should be considered, especially around those park areas like Kanaha. Yeah, I'm there's usually, kids that run through. And I'm usually barefoot when I go through that too. So, have you ever stepped in a nice steaming pile of leftover? Yeah, right after I stepped in a on a kava needle. Oh, <laughs> oh gosh! Nice. You know, a part of the day at the beach, sun, surf, septic shock. That should not be in that <laughs> equation. Yeah, I guess. It's Better than Vana, though, I guess. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Um, but that's a place that I'd really like to see cleaned up. Kanaha. Yeah. Should we make that number three? I mean, you know. I like that idea. It's a good place for people to go and I mean, it's kind of a public place, so people are going to see the Opala. Yeah. And and that's just it. So many kids' parties are there that weekend. And, and congratulations, because I see a lot of parents cleaning up after a lot of kids' parties at Kanaha. Yeah, that's... So, so thank you. Yeah, and, and I like the fact that, uh, you know, Kaya from Lambsbread also went out there with his kids and 
took it took oh, it on yeah. upon himself to do his own little Paula Hall. I really got mad respect for that. Oh, definitely. Well, he said he's going to be joining us on this one Sunday. Absolutely, that's cool. Awesome. All right. Uh, real quick though, the Facebook page is facebook.com slash Opala Hala. If people want to say, look, this is the dirty area of the beach, they can go there and post pictures, right? And just be like, absolutely. Oh. Yeah, that's what we're trying to do. Is it's not just about us. It's about people becoming involved and wanting to be a part of what this is. And it, nobody's making any money. We're just trying to improve the area that we live in. And that's the biggest thing. It's like. Really, this is all for all of us. And you would think that everybody would just be like, oh, 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 right now. Like, right now, people in the street stopping what they're doing, picking up stuff, and then all of a sudden, Sunday, when we go out, there's nothing left. Yeah, or just, like, make it a personal choice to, like, say, I'm going to pick up 10 pieces of trash today. Yeah. Doesn't matter where, just do it. Let's do that for today, okay? Just as part of the Opala Hala thing between me and you, let's just say, today, when you leave the show, today, when I leave the show, me and you will go out and pick up 10 pieces of things. And just put them to the side. And if we can do it, being busy DJs, <laughs> anybody can do it, right? Absolutely. That's that's what we're trying to do here. Okay. So here's what you do today. Pick up your 10 pieces of trash. Go to Facebook.com slash Opala Hala. Give us a like there. And then show us the 10 pieces of trash and tell us where you picked them up. There we go. And, and then maybe if you see us on the side of the road somewhere, give us a honk and let us know. You know, Show your support by... By saying, hey, we respect what you're doing, and uh, maybe we'll come out and help sometime. Soon. Yeah, you know, a little shock of here and there. And, hey, if you're feeling really generous, stop the car, get out. We've got vests and bags and stuff for everyone, don't exactly. we? Exactly. <laughs> and you, you don't have to stay for the full two hours. Just do what you can. Mm -hmm. Well, I'll tell you what. I'm going to take a uh, quick break here. I'm going to come back and wrap up things. Well, I'm going to wrap up the whole show with you today, okay? And then we'll get some plugs out for stuff that you're doing. But Facebook.com slash Opalahala. Go pick up 10 pieces of trash today, everybody. Take a picture of it, put it on that Facebook page, and let us know where you got it. That's a cool idea, man. This is why I don't win awards. It's the Rhythm of the Islands Q103. <laughs> Estelle and Sean Paul, that's come over. Q103, the Rhythm of the Islands. All right, so you're no str Well, actually, you're married. Yes. I'm about to be married. So <laughs> you're no stranger to romance, right? The first time that you invited your lovely wife over to your house when you were still just dating, was your house dirty? Um, because I want to tell you the truth. When I first invited Kamai in, into my house, it was it was hell. Yeah, I lived. I was living in Long Beach at the time, and uh, my roommate, his wife worked, and he was this guy that would sit at home and buy these African masks all day long. And so <laughs> the house, he was trying to become a dealer or something. And so we had thousands of these African masks all over the place in boxes. Yeah, so it kind of looked pretty trashy. Wow, I was but, just like, he was trying to become a dealer, so he bought African mask. I'm like. Oh, oh, he, you meant to deal the mask. I was thinking he, he would wear them while he was dealing drugs. That would have been a little awkward. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Well, I, I, we had talked about Opala Hall. We know that stop number two is coming up this Sunday. 10 to 12, just two hours. That's all it takes, two hours, right? That's not a lot of time. Can you think of anything better you can do in two hours a day that doesn't involve your wife? Um, oh. Play music with my band. Yeah, that's about it. It's, it's, it's either hmm, or music then i really think that that says a lot though because if you think that hey man you know it's only two hours and the only there's only two things in the entire world that i could be doing better than this that's still the top five why you're not doing that you know yeah. but i mean you know anybody that comes out you'll see that um it feels good doing this oh and, god uh, we have a lot of laughs too yeah it's addictive we, the, the trash comparison thing is always the funniest <laughs> right. who can find the weirdest crap on the side Nastiest of the road piece of trash nasty yeah you won hands down bag of fish parts yeah and it, if anybody can come up with an idea to somehow keep the plastic bags open so we can put the trash in quicker please let us know because that's a big problem for us <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah the wind plays hell on you with the trash bag yeah but this Sunday, we're going to do um, Opala Hala 2, Thousand Peaks. We're meeting at 930 at the Aquatic Center, Ma'alaya Bay. And then you're you're saying, look, for the next one, we should we should really look in Kanaha. And on the Opala Hala page on Facebook, facebook.com slash Opala Hala, somebody else has actually mentioned that one. I think it was Tammy or she said, hey, you should, guys should consider Kanaha. Yeah. Which, which is the beach that you hang the most at? Would you say the Kanaha is or you you do more Baldwin? Um, No. I like Baby Beach. Oh. So Baby Beach is important to keep clean for sure, but that doesn't, I don't see a whole lot of Opala. 
No, no, but you know why? Because you see a lot of tutus and aunties and uncles out there going, hey, hey boy, you picked that off. Yeah. Well, yeah. Anything along anything along that side, North Shore, is just, it's important to me, all the way up to Hokeepa. Yeah, yeah, especially, especially when you get to the Jaws. Yeah, up on top of that viewpoint of Hokeepa, it gets trashy up there sometimes, too. Well, man, we got just like a, uh, like a couple seconds left here. Um, real quick, if we wanted to uh, reach Salvo, uh, Facebook.com, what is it, DJ Salvo? or it's just Salvo. Salvo. Yeah. Salvo, okay. Because, uh, you know, I always try to put the DJ name in it because I'm old. I'm yeah, I think 80s. it's Salvo or Salvo no Kooi, one of the two. Okay. <laughs> You're like, it's one of those. But uh, Facebook.com slash Opala Hala, all one word. We know that one. Yeah, and you can find me through that because I post Salvo sometimes. Yeah. And then Sunday, we'll see you out. Are you are you bringing the missus? Um, because I'm see. trying to talk mine into it so bad right now. Depends if she works or not. She's a nurse, so she's got a crazy schedule. God. So here it is: you cleaning up the island, wife, nurse. Hey. Are you a superhero? No, she, may, she enables me to do that. So if she can't always make it every time. I understand. She's a, she's a very clean person. She helps me. Oh yeah. I am. Dude, man. Shout outs to the missus and mine too. Because... And yours too. Kamali's yeah. the shiznit. Yeah, you know, we love her. That's why we're marrying her. <laughs> well, I'm marrying her. You don't get to. You're already married, and last time I checked, that's not legal in Hawaii. Plus, it would be awkward. Uh, Sunday, join us at 9.30 at the Maalaya Bay, and then um, Opala Hala, facebook.com slash Opala Hala. Right. And I'm, I'm at the Tiki Lounge every Tuesday night for old school back in the days Tuesdays. Yeah. If you want to see me there. So throw it back on a Tuesday, Tiki. Mm. <laughs> I know you're just like you're giving me this look like oh man Sunday it's gonna be on yeah, uh, yeah anybody who wants to do a surf session before the 930 meetup well actually I'm just gonna go down straight to Thousand Peaks anybody want to surf beforehand I'm joined okay man, you heard it paddle out session and a trash pickup this Sunday as for me uh, gotta go workday kickoff is coming up next till next week love you mean it get in bye more two hour free check out our two blog on our website for extended artist interviews behind the scenes videos and more and more log on to two hour free today the rhythm of